<clears throat> Hello, everyone. My name is Jacqueline, and I'm here with my team members, Emma and Nick. Our client is the Nature Conservancy in Hawaii and Palmyra, and our advisor is Noah Garrison. To give a background on our project, across the state of Hawaii, there are an estimated 83,000 cesspools that dispose of wastewater from commercial and residential properties. A, a cesspool is a pit in the ground where waste is sent. Solid waste accumulates in this pit while the liquid waste leaches into the soil. This untreated liquid waste carries harmful pathogens, nit nitrates, and bacteria to groundwater sources. In as little as four hours from disposal, runoff and groundwater carry the sewage to the ocean, where the average person may be swimming in these highly polluted waters. In addition to the direct threat to coral reefs and marine life, human health is also at risk. Hawaii has a shallow water table, so the problem will continue to worsen in coastal areas with events such as sea level rise and climate change. As flooding and the elevation of water tables becomes increasingly common, we are concerned that cesspools will pollute drinking and recre recreational water sources more frequently. Hawaii banned the construction of cesspools in 2016, and the state mandates that all be converted by 2050, but implementing these conversions is much harder in practice, mainly because we don't know where a lot of these cesspools are located, and they are additionally very costly to convert. We started with a data set of cesspool locations from 2010, but this 14 year gap from the present means that data set ex is extremely outdated. We don't know if new cesspools had been constructed before the ban in 2016, or even if cesspools have been removed in any recently developed areas. Our project focuses on finding solutions and alternatives to cesspools. Here are the team's or original research questions on the left, but we ran into some challenges as we dived into our project. First, we researched the regulatory and legislative status surrounding cesspools. Even though Hawaii has banned cesspools, legislation is needed to support homeowners in the conversion to other wastewater treatment systems. We tracked bills from the 2023 and 2024 legislative session, but none of these bills passed. So our client advised that we shift our focus and legislative analysis. For our second research question, we sought to create a GIS map of all cesspool locations and wastewater infrastructure, but we ran into two main problems. First, we were unable to obtain permit data for cesspools because the information was largely inaccessible and difficult to find online. Second, we received information that the NOAA was already locating cesspools, so our work would have been redundant to their research. So we had to shift on the fly during the middle of winter quarter and redirect our mapping efforts, moving us to a new set of research questions. The first of these new research questions is what are the optimal locations for converting cesspools to sewer lines to facilitate water reuse? We need to figure out if we are going to convert cesspools to sewer connections, where this is possible and where we are able to use recycled water. To do this, we are looking into where, not only where new cesspools might exist, but also doing an analysis of sewage spills to get a better picture of where the pollution is coming from. Our second research question that we are looking into right now is if we are going to prioritize cesspool conversions to septic systems where sewers are unavailable, what are the risks and the technical parameters for doing so? In just a minute, we'll talk about septic systems and the risks that they pose. Given the lack of momentum behind these recent cesspool bills and the difficulty of making large scale legislative changes, we have shifted our focus to small policy changes that can be made at the state level. Ideally, cesspools in Hawaii would be converted to sewer connections, but given the financial and spatial obstacles, many cesspools are instead transitioning to septic systems. Septic, septic systems differ from cesspools only in the aspect of one extra filtration system. While they are more environmentally sound than cesspools, they offer many risks of their own. Septic systems must be located a safe distance above the groundwater table, in order to prevent leakage into possible drinking sources. Sea level rise, climate change, and seasonal weather patterns all impact the groundwater table, making it difficult to determine exactly what this safe distance should be. So in order to help guide Hawaii's septic policy, we have compiled a comprehensive database of policy from state, county, and city governments across the nation. We have considered variables such as the distance to groundwater and the slope that these governments require. We're also looking into alternative solutions offered by these areas if these requirements are not met. We're hoping to answer the questions of what Hawaii needs to do in order to successfully organize their own septic policy going forwards. So we're looking into what worked and what didn't with other states. So on the spatial analysis side, our goal is to find the best spots to upgrade cesspools to sewer connections, making water reuse possible. 
So to start, we went back to that 2010 map of known cesspools in Hawaii that Jacqueline mentioned earlier for areas that our client was interested in. However, that map was outdated, as mentioned before, and didn't include new cesspools since then. So we tried to figure out how we could add to it and how we could update this to be a value. So we want to identify new structures that could potentially have cesspools since then. So we looked at Google Earth and a land cover data set by the NOAA. And we looked at the differences between 2005 and 2021 land cover data sets to identify areas developed within this time frame. We then checked which areas had the right conditions for water reuse, like having nearby water treatment plants, uh, the correct type of soils, slope, and rainfall, and then cross that with parcels that might be able to make use of recycled water, such as parks, schools, and golf courses. Uh, we then mapped to see if there were sewers or if there was a potential to be a sewer. So this was the most up-to-date cesspool data, which is from 2010 with the new areas that we found and overlaid with the map of Hawaii's existing sewer lines to see if we could switch from cesspools to sewer connections because cesspools with the proximity to sewer lines are more probable to be converted. So in this image here, we can see that the red is newly developed areas that potentially have cesspools um, and then the green is the sewer lines. And it helped us to develop a prioritization scheme where the new areas that are developed with cesspools that are close to sewer lines are high priority for focus on the to change. Uh, low priority are areas that with no data on cesspools, but they already have the sewer connections. And then um, further checking is where areas with no data on cesspools and no nearby sewer lines. So overall, this helped us to find the best places to start upgrading cesspools for water reuse. Going forwards, we plan to continue to update the policy database to reflect septic policy that may impact Y's future. Our team is also beginning to write a synthesis report on our gathered data that will be presented to our client. For the spatial analysis side, we're going to continue mapping um, water reuse locations, as we saw before, and determining criteria for prioritization. And also, as mentioned in the research questions, continue mapping sewage spills to look at uh, reuse. Thank you for listening.